<clears throat> hey, what's up all here for another review. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I like to say I made a Benchmade Griptilian knife review. And this guy is saying, oh, you're smoking a cigarette, you dumbass. Uh, no, it was a joint of marijuana, cannabis. Uh, it's completely legal here in Canada. This is my channel on my platform, so I'll smoke whatever I want on it. So piss on your butt, and uh, I'm not monetized. I'll smoke whatever I want. Uh, it's legal weed. So anyway, um, besides that, Happy New Year. In the year, we're going to be reviewing the Limerol uh, wireless clippers. Um, it's the K11S professional hair clippers by Limerol. I hope I'm saying that right. Give you a quick 3D. We're going to dive down deep. drop it okay we're gonna dive down deep and t i'm gonna tell you what i like and what i don't like and if it got lost broken stolen or damaged beyond repair would i buy another one okay see you down there and to uh, get everything this comes with but it, it uh for the video but it comes with four or six guards a cape a brush a little tester bottle oil this is the box it came with Very kind of simple box. Okay, so we got the manual, and we might skim that in a second. I think these are the clips they come with. I have a big box of uh, real wall clips and these knockoff ones that come with Asian clippers because I bought three or four pairs of Asian clippers from Amazon and eBay. Um, but I really recommend getting proper wall guards 100%. Uh, order official they're much sturdier much 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 better and they will work with the, the limerol so let's get into the um clippers themselves so these are probably my favorite i think those are my six fifth or sixth pair i've had wall wired and the rest have been um wireless um uh, i've had let me think scene west uh, Haddocker, um, Cosignol, uh, Limerol, and uh, what else have I had? Uh, oh, I have a Philips wireless as well. Um, so I've had a few. And uh, this is hands down my favorite. It feels great. Um, it's just very uh, um, aesthetic and er ergonomic. And it's a great weight. It makes it feel of value. Um, the other YouTuber, he, he recommends... Um, replacing the lever um i have ordered another lever and he re recommends replacing the ceramic i tried doing that but the one i ordered did not fit so now i'm looking for to order the the proper the ceramic one that fits i just had it here a second ago so i had to reassemble this myself i got you know weeks ago i got the best fit ever using these and i was really worried i couldn't get them back together with the original and honestly how good this is stock i would Probably suggest just keeping it that way. You can try replacing the, le replacing the lever. I'm waiting for my gold lever from eBay. But the blade, I swear, gave my best fade I've ever had. Just right out of the box. So I was pretty worried when I thought I couldn't get it back on working properly. But it seems I did. So, and I aligned it properly. So, this will take a listen. Nice buzz. Pretty powerful, right? So, sounds like I got it working good again. Thank God. So, I, I'm probably just going to return the ceramic blades, like 13 bucks, maybe mail it back. And probably just keep it like this, tie the lever. Um, but for the price I paid, I think it was about $45.50. What an amazing feeling device. Like I said, of all, the last six or seven uh, pairs of clippers I've tried, five or six, this has given my best fade, uh, bar none, right out of the box. Um, so... Um, would I change anything differently? Um, that lever is pretty cheap feeling out of the box. Um, other than that, um, I can't think of much I would actually change. It's just what a great clippers right out of the box almost. Uh, wireless, of course. And uh, 
I'm not going to bother going into all the features, but um, I can't tell you what kind of charge this holds right now. But uh, come stock with the metal blades. It's recommended you should upgrade them. At least on the costume, y'all, it look like this. I'm assuming it's basically the same razor. I wouldn't mind trying um, ceramics in there. Um, metal construction, and it feels the quality. It looks cool. It's kind of like a blend of the vintage days uh, mesh with the, the current. Um, really cool razor and uh, hoping to get a lot, a lot of use out of it before I replace it. I'm going to go back up top, give you my final impression, my final words, I mean. So, uh, what if I lost, if it got lost, stolen or broken, would I buy another one? Um, yes, actually I would. And I'm really might be excited to try the ceramic one that fits. I spent quite a bit of time last night getting, trying to get one in. I couldn't figure out why it would never work properly because it wasn't cut properly that little plastic piece in there. Your blade has to have a little be cut properly to take the plastic piece inside. So I got it back together with the stock blade today. Um, probably need a touch up on my fade in a week or two, 10 days. So I'm gonna try it again. Um, it's just, even stock, I can tell you, I've tried it twice stock, it just mows the hair off incredibly. Just, whew, it just, it takes the hair off like a motherfucker. And wireless, in this day and age, I do not recommend buying wired anymore. Really, because if you're doing yourself as much, if you're doing your own hair, much easier having wireless. And if you're doing someone else's, well, it just makes everything easier, in my opinion. So, and it is very, very powerful. Don't get confused just because it's wireless. It's a very, extremely powerful wireless clipper. Paid about 45, 50 Canadian with shipping included on Amazon. The Limerol K11S, a beautiful clipper value for the money. Time will tell how long it holds up. I'm ho hoping to at least get two years use out of them. If I can even get two years use out of them, I'll be very happy. Thanks for watching.